Do you have a beef with homemade masks? No, as long as you have a $5 million factory <laughs> at your house. You live at your factory. Yeah, you I have no problem with that. <laughs> yeah. All right, real talk. Uh, no, I mean, I, I, I think that at one point they were necessary. You saw all these stories of like, you know, uh, these, these women, uh, at, these grandmas at home, you know, knitting masks and stuff. And, and that was actually heroic, to be honest. Um, but once we got over that hump, there's no reason to keep doing that, right? But what's different now? Why should people who have been using their own homemade masks make the transition over to a disposable? It's, it's basic science. Like a cloth mask can be uh, as ineffective as 30, 40, 50 percent, and uh, our masks are 98 percent effective. Well, I mean, in the past, you know, I'm talking way, way in the past. Remember when a, you know, a damsel would uh, sneeze, uh, a gentleman would pull out his handkerchief and offer it to her. Gross. Yeah. <laughs> now we're like, wait a second, is that a brand new handkerchief? <laughs> and now we have Kleenex. Right? It's, it's literally the same concept. Like if you're, if you're using something that's reusable, but it's constantly you know, in your face, ew. Yeah. And um, it, it is like, you know, uh, you know, it's like if your arm's bleeding, you, know, you could take your sock off and make a tourniquet, but you know what's better? A tourniquet. <laughs> that's a good point, <laughs> legit point. To me, what really stuck out is the simplicity of 30, 40, 50% effective or 98% effective? Which would you like? Yeah, it's, it's, it's basic science and basic math. Like this one is like quite literally at least twice as much better. <laughs>